I'm kind of stuck too with that the triple, yeah, or is it quadruple? There's like four different weapons. Yeah. Right, this guy's gonna move up to here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this guy's gonna dismount. What so one, two, three, four, five. You still got half like left. What, what weapon do you want to use? So yeah. he's not in the T62. He's now on the ground on his own. Got it. So he'll just get the benefit from being in, in that. Uh, All right, back to you. If you would like to uh, try something. You know, the only guy that can see anything has uh, crawled. Mm -hmm. He's in great shape there. He's, he's <laughs> hanging out, eating the ear of corn. Your turn. Can you imagine if we had to all go down to the village green down there and practice the plus once a month for the weekend of month? Go out there. Yeah. Actually, have to keep 40 millimeters between them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to do that the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a range of, well, you said 10, right? 10 for the M60. And then you just have to go center, so it's going to cross over at least one X, possibly two. And line of sight blocked after a second. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, they're both behind. That's behind. So, that's fine. Okay. Pass. Ooh, do 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 Then I have to roll a death check. Yeah, but it's only 34 percent. And if I hit it, it doesn't do that much damage. If I had a gun, it's worth more. You know, okay. so I'm taking lesser odds for potentially more profit. Higher payoff. Yeah, higher payoff. That's He's just playing the uh, five dollar slot. Yeah, that's it. High risk. High risk. Okay. I'm not going to hurt one in eighteen. I'm not going to hurt those janitors anyhow. The way to calculate it is what's the chance of knocking out the times the point value? I don't think you can knock it out. Say, do I keep flustered out or not? Yes. We get some far too much work. I just rolled. I wasn't actually. I wasn't actually doing that. I just put my guys forward and see what happens. I just roll a bunch of dice. Hope I win. Alright. Turn two, sir. Your turn. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, six. Is there an optimal range for the wall? Yeah, I mean you can just check it out. And he's just going to do an assault move. Right. So you want to move him forward. Um, if you're going to shoot at me, I got something. You just look on the back. Oh, that's right. It's on the tech. I'm so always counting on that stuff on the back. It's cool. One or two is the best range. Three, four is the middle bracket. Because it's always oh, right. whatever's less. Right. So the optimal range is one or two X's, and then three or four is an X best. But then you're going to shoot at me, so I'm going to fire at you first. Because you're a punk, and you deserve it. So let's just try that. Let's flip, oh, the, let's, oh, let's, let's flip the little counter over. There's a, uh, and I didn't do it for this game yet, there's a guy that... So you don't have to flip the counters over all the time. He puts together a chart that's got all the ordnance on it. I printed it. I did. I yeah, I, I forgot to bring it. Yeah. I was like, I'll oh, print it off at work and use there. Yeah. Well, 
Make two, get me one. Because he just he just updated it because he made a mistake on the uh, OG oh, yeah. on the original one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll print it off. Yeah, that'd be cool. Now, okay, so let's do this again. So, so this is the range is across three, the top. Four, five, you're at six hexes. Six hexes, which right. means you're using the last column. Right. Which means you have to roll three or below to hit. Right. If you had a leader, that could help. Yeah. But then you're going to get penalties because I moved. So when you look at the order, you're saying table, you're saying because your your little guy moved, yeah. it makes it harder for me to hit. Yep. So it says mark of moved or assault move mark is a plus one. He's not in any terrain. So now you would have to roll a one, which is impossible. You'd have to roll snake eyes to hit me at that range. Yeah, I got it, got it, got it. Okay, well that's like so I, I need to just take the shot then. What you're saying? It's just I need to take. Oh, absolutely. Let me know where you're at so my infantry can shoot back. And you get you get plus modifiers, right? So now, so well, I wouldn't get plus modifiers. I would just be able to see you to shoot. Okay. Seem to shoot at me, right? Okay. And if he shoots at you because he uses a, an ordnance weapon, then you would pick up the acquired marker, which means in the next turn I know you're there. I don't have to spot you again, and I get a, a minus to shoot at you again. So that's why it's sort of true with ordnance, and it works the same way. You can shoot at me, and you'll get that same bonus. Right. But as soon as I move, you'll lose it. Right. But if I sit there, then you need a two or three. What's the tracking? That's the little tracking thing. I thought that a law is... That little thing. Don't they count? Yeah, anything that uses the ordinance table. Right. So what it is is there's two of them for right. each letter. So you'll get the acquiring marker, right. and I would get the acquired. Well, you get the one that says minus one. Right. And then if you shoot out again, it's minus two. So... Okay. It really helps if you're shooting at stationary stuff like right. HE weapons into a building that a squad's probably not going to evacuate. Okay, all right, we'll carry on. Far away. I'll just, here, I'll just here and take it, like I always do. Coward. Yeah, snake eyes, you know. I'm not that into percentages, but snake eyes is really good. Yeah, it's not good. These guys are, they're unarmored light cavalry. They're unarmored cavalry, bow and sword. They have bow, they have bow and sword. No, bow. These are unarmored what? Unarmored cavalry, uh, bow and swordsman. Or armor. They got more shields. for a track vehicle. Now you know if you're in a single line, you have a bay. I did not like that. It's cavalry. Not, not some certain kinds can't fight the gendarmes. And then you are like knights, you fight the best one. Right, but we can't evade. You can never evade. Never evade. But you don't get anything for the second rank. If these hit them, they will yeah, that's not good. cards. If you it's going to be a there. Turkish thing would be to evade. Right. I'm going to take my chance. These guys move up 11 to there. Yeah. They're tired. And, uh, well, unfortunately, now I presume Fred's are fully armored, right? It's buttoned. Right. Yeah. I'm just going to say uh, these two guys are buttoned up. Right. And then, uh, M60 got to anything against that, right? It can, only if it was open, right? Because then you're soon to be picking off the two guys with their heads up right. top. Right. But uh, yeah, with while they're all buttoned up, then uh, small arms doesn't do anything to them. If it wasn't buttoned, then you would just use your firepower versus the, the lowest armor value mm -hmm. plus the terrain that I'm in. Okay. 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 But he is closed up on you. Yeah. And this guy can't have any effect either because he's just going to shoot yeah, the same, gonna... same deal. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay, I thought there was something where I guess it wouldn't hurt you. Right. <laughs> Now, if, if he were looking for me... He's just using right the double time because he's with a good order. He can't see me. So he rushes up there, so these guys are both... And even if he were okay. Now, you still have an opportunity to fire here. Mm -hmm. All right. so and because I assault move, though, it'll fire at a penalty, but he'll still be able to shoot opportunity. Well, he can opportunity fire, right. but as soon as you shoot, he's going to see where it came from. Right. And lay into it himself. So that's my five. Yeah. So you've got, what, the M60 in there? Yeah. So you'd be at three firepower. Yeah. Plus one for moving is four, so you're going to roll, plus the moving is five, so you'll roll 1d6 plus five, and I've got nothing because I'm in the open. And then you get to fire back, I mean, blow the building up, right? Uh, only yes. this guy could. Yeah, yeah, but you're in a, you're in a red dot building, which gives you a plus four modifier. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, a range of six. 
It gives me a base number of eight. Minus two for assault moves, now I'm down to a six. Four for the building makes it a one or a two that I'd hit you on. Now I know you're there. One of your guys has a hit. So it would be pretty tough for me to hit you. It's the same odds you guys had with the wall. Let's do let's do that. Let's have fun. Let's, have fun. let's shoot something. So let me just roll through this so I, I learn it. Mm -hmm. So I got uh, a base five power of three. So he's got the, the one. Does that the, skill do anything for yeah, you? Yeah, it gives you... Uh, it, it's any two hexes that are adjacent, so it doesn't have any right, so it doesn't take any to meet all the requirements for fire, blah, blah, blah. If the hero possesses himself, he, it applies only to himself. Okay. Yeah. So, so what you're going to do is firepower of whatever squad or man you're using. Yep, three. So that's one. One, sorry. Plus the weapon is two. two. Right. So now you're up to 1d6 plus 3. Okay. You're firing out of a smoke hex, right. which is a negative. So now you're 1d6 plus 2. Okay. My guy has got the move marker, 1d6 plus 3. Okay. Uh, is that it? 1d6 plus 3? Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking at this. So it's all of these DFTs. Yeah, so you're just going to go through those and see if any of those apply. I don't have any terrain modifiers. Okay. I'm not in the That's smoke. Good. So we're doing 1d6. Yep. And then you'll add 3 to yours. You didn't bring my lucky die, dang it. You can go buy another one up there. I'm sure they sell lots of them. <laughs> one is awesome, right? So we've got four. So what? There you go. And I've got one. So it's plus three. So I roll plus three for each of those guys. In. Okay, now plus three, and that goes on this table here. Yep. And it's so you against start the with the leader. Yep. yep. So the lead first, right? Is a nine. nine. So he's going to be shaking. Right. And you can just go over here and look at the... Well, well, okay, so hang on. So there's three... Yes. Yep. So it says the number is a nine. Got it. So you go to three times. Good order right, single. Right. Good order single. Yep. And it's greater than his morale, yep. but not twice his morale. So he's shaking. So he's shaking. Okay. So bing, he's on his flip side shaking. Okay. Now every squad does the same. So, so an eight. So he's going to be shaking. Right. <laughs> and then same for the next guy is a six. So he's shaking. He's shaking. He's shaking. Right. But they give him the undrilled characteristics. Okay. So they've all got the old shaking. And make mark. Okay, and this guy gets marked as fired, right? Yep. Well, also, regulars that are drilled get expanded. But also, after 1495, no one ever charged that order. Alright, so now you're done because that was your turn. We're going to shoot again. Oh, she's going to shoot away. It's my turn, right? So the assault move. Now, what I can do here is. I could fire my machine gun and the cannon at you. The cannon is pretty much a non-starter. It's not going to hit anything, but still, I might try just to get the acquired thing. The machine gun, because the assault move, would be firepower 2, minus 2, so it's zero. So I'd roll 1d6, and you would roll 1d6 plus 4. Okay. So I'm going to try just to roll snake eyes. Okay. Not going to happen. So you missed and you fired. He's going to get the acquired uh, so I guess uh, this is going to be going because he's fired now. Right. And now I'm going to fire the machine gun at you, okay. which is a four. So you get one d6 plus four. One d6 so plus four. Nothing is six. Okay. So yeah, he's done. Now. Okay. So now it's back. But next turn you get a modifier. Yep. Next so time when I shoot at unless you, I, unless I move. Yeah. If you move, I, I'll lose the modifier. Right. This doesn't help the machine gun. It only helps the ordnance. Right. Okay, so it's now my turn. I would like to charge them, but I'm not in range. Are there any vulnerabilities for when your so the unit's shaken? Yeah, they just they take casualties faster. Oh, that's right. It's on the DF2 chart, right? Right, right, right. So now, what? So you've. All of these guys are done. Yeah, I'm done. I You're done. I can't I, do anything. Yeah, I've got this guy here. If I, if I wanted to, I could fire a power of strength of two at these guys, right? Yeah. And you could fire the law at them. Too. And if you shoot the law at them, you use the the, the uh, HE equivalent, right? Not a penetration. Okay. So you would shoot. You would start with the the inherent firepower. Right. So one d six plus two. He's not in the smoke. Plus one for movement, so you'd be one d six plus three. Okay. And then you would shoot using the backside again for the ordnance table. Right. But if you hit, you just use the high explosive. The red, which is a seven to hit versus a three. Yeah. So right. you're at one two three four. Right. So you find, yeah you need a seven and then seven or less, right? So the target is moved with a mark the move, so it'd be a plus one year old. Right. So you need two d six. So it's one d six on a, a two plus. Uh, it's gonna be plus three all together. Three. Okay. Now you have to buy another set of 
See if I, I, and then I just got 1d6, roll the two, so we're going to another plus three. All right, now you, so I start.